A police officer in Florida had a very close call with lightning yesterday. He had just got back to the police department and was getting out of his SUV when lightning strikes just yards away. You can see the sparks actually flying in that video. The officer quickly got back into his cruiser, likely taking a pretty deep sigh of relief. That strike knocked out power to the entire building and damaged multiple electrical transformers, but no one was hurt. The state of Florida records more lightning strikes than anywhere in the entire United States. Well, back here at home, no real storms to be speaking of, but we have seen some changes in our weather today. That has to do with the winds and the dust. And we're going to start off with the winds because winds are now blowing anywhere from 20 to 25 miles per hour off the Gulf of Mexico for most locations. And they're gusting even higher than that, gusting right now to 30 here in Corpus Christi, 30 as well in Kingsville. So it's very blustery out there for our Friday. In terms of where we're going for the rest of the evening, we're going to watch that breeze steadily die down. However, it's still going to be much uh, elevated from where it normally is at sunset around 830 tonight and those temperatures falling into the low 80s by about 11 o'clock. Temperatures now are in the 80s and 90s for most locations. We're 87 here in Corpus Christi heat index. That's a bit of a different story. Most of these are over 101. By the time you factor in that humidity, it feels very toasty out there with 104 as well in Kingsville. Now we've had a lot of the dust that's moved in. We showed you that on the sky cam just before going to break and you can see it here over the Gulf of Mexico. In fact, this is continuing to get pumped up into South Texas as we watch the flow around this high pressure system move it in our direction. So we're going to continue to have this all the way through uh, Saturday and Sunday. Here's what it looks like though over Florida. Look at all of the shower and thunderstorm activity that is associated with what could actually be our next rainmaker come next week. So we've got what we call an inverted trough in the atmosphere. And what this basically is, is just a typical weather system, but it has the potential of producing some rain. So watch as this goes, starts moving to the west over the next several days. Really, it's going to be a fairly slow mover. By the time we hit Monday night, it's still only over Louisiana, high pressure to our north, and that's going to start to steer that off to the west. We're going to watch uh, by the time we hit the 4th of July, this roll into our area. So we have the trigger in place, and we're also going to have the moisture in place as well. We've got dry air in place now in our atmosphere, but as we go into next week, we're going to start to watch this big surge of moisture come in with that storm system, which means we're likely to see the chance of rain for 4th of July. It's just a matter of timing and where it all occurs, and we'll get to that as we approach the event. So mid 80s along the beach for tomorrow. It's going to be a great beach day out there. Partly cloudy skies, rip current risk ever so slightly elevated to that moderate range. As for tomorrow, we're going to start to watch the haze really begin uh, to kick in tomorrow afternoon. I think it's going to be kind of a step above what we saw today. We're also going to have that heat index up there around 100 degrees with a high around 91. Here's your seven day forecast. This is brought to you by AutoNation 72 hour flash sale. Get supercharged savings and hurry. These savings end in a flash. So here's where we go for the seven day. We're actually going to watch this haze stick around through Sunday. The windy conditions die down by about that point as well. Monday and Tuesday, pretty quiet days overall. Then as we get into the middle of next week, that's when we start to see the moisture and that trough move into the area. The question is, where does that rain form? And we're going to continue to watch this over the next couple of days. However, as of right now, it does look like we have a chance of rain for the 4th of July. So stay tuned on that situation. Drew, I'll send it back to you. Oh, thank